Today on Susquehanna Express, we're going to be introducing you to a brand new commission that will be starting at annual conference. It's called CONAM, and it is the Commission on Native American Ministry. Today, Ruby Olson is here to tell us a little bit more about it. Thank you for coming, Ruby. You're welcome. So just so that our viewers kind of get a background um, of how you got involved, can you tell us a little bit about your Native American background and um, the programs, ministries that you have been involved with because okay. of that? I grew up in North Carolina in an Indian community. Um, all the teachers came from the Lumbee tribe and taught the tribal school at my home, which is Halawasa Pony. And from there, I had lived with an aunt, and I came to York and got uh, involved with my husband and my family in a Methodist church. And I've been in back involved in the Methodist church, uh, Indian Affairs, since I started there. And uh, from the beginning of Native American Ministry Sunday, I have been very active within churches in York County. The churches that you've been involved with, have they normally had an actual celebration on Native American Sunday? Not uh, at first. Uh, by word of mouth, uh, churches call and I would go speak at different churches. Okay. And um, my church at Messiah, we've always had a Native American Ministry Sunday because I was a member there and that started. Yeah, that's neat that you were able to raise awareness um, mm -hmm. of just more of the world perspective. Mm -hmm. um, you said that you were involved with the Northeast jurisdiction of mm -hmm. um, a Native American ministry. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, over the years, I've done different things with Native American ministries, and I got involved in the Northeastern jurisdiction of CONAM. And two years ago, it was in Carlisle. Um, it's held uh, every four years. So from that, they wanted me to start a CONAM within Susquehanna Conference because we don't have one. And because of all the Indian heritage in this area and from the Carlisle Indian School, uh, we felt it was worthwhile. And I know many Native American people in York and Lancaster, well, Lancaster too, but in York County. And I, I think it's needed. Um. Do you have any idea of the population of Native Americans that might be in our conference? No, I don't. And that's one thing through CONAM. We hope to learn how many are uh, in the uh, Susquehanna Conference. But it's kind of hard to do that with Native people because they move in, move out. Mm -hmm. and so. But just to get a general idea would be nice. What kind of message do you share with people when you do go to talk about Native American ministry? Uh, I always like to explain that I am a Christian and I'm still Native American. I think sometimes people don't think that Native Americans are Christian, but we are, and I was raised in a church. Uh, I share about where we're from and some of the history of the people and culture for the people on the East Coast because so many people, even teachers and children, think you have to go out west to see Native Americans, but they're all up and down the East Coast. Mm -hmm. What are some ways that you found you can bring in your heritage and still worship um, in, in the United Methodist Church? Um, we've been able to come into the church and dance and okay. you know explain the dances, uh, do the food. We uh, I've raised money within our church, but uh, selling fried bread and having Indian tacos maybe twice a year. Uh, just explaining the heritage, and sometimes when I speak at churches, I wear the regalia. We okay. don't call it costumes we okay. or dress. Okay. And I think it's important to tie it in and have people realize that we are, uh, we serve one creator. And, you know, whether we call it creator or God, he's there. Mm -hmm. What are some of your plans for this new commission that's going to be started? Well, um, for me, I would like to see many of the churches within the conference become involved in and uh, have Native American Ministry Sunday and have different people come in and share the heritage with them or if they would get some books and we hope to set up uh, a list of different books they could purchase on how to uh, 
start a Native American ministry Sunday within their church. Well, I thank you so much for coming to share, and um, I'm excited to see what the commission does and if it really does raise awareness um, about Native American ministries. Um, and I'm just looking forward to seeing that grow. So thank okay. you. If you would like to watch more episodes like this to learn about new things that the conference is doing um, and ministries that you can be involved with, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna Express.